Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another elemental design related tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how you can create this kind of animated blob effect with any section or with any text box and when i hover over on it we can see it's changing the color very nicely for this tutorial i'm going to use elemental pro version and little bit of css code we need not to use any more extra plugin so your site will not be overloaded you see this is a simple and cool effect and you can create this kind of effect very easily in few minutes and by creating this kind of cool effect inside your website you can take your website to a next level by the way if you like to see this kind of tutorial more give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. First I am taking a new section and here I am taking a 3 column structure. For this section I am making the height to fit to screen and the background color I am making it to the black color from style tab, background type, making the color to black. Now for the first column. First I am taking a inner section, click on this plus icon and taking a inner section and removing one column and here I am taking some text and button, taking a title text and also taking some text editor, normal text and finally a button. Now changing the text color to white and also going to add some text style. Alright, I am done for this text style and now for the button, going to style tab and removing the background color, I am making it to transparent. Adding border, making the border with 2 pixel and adding some border radius this time i want to add some rectangular or blob shape with this button also so border radius going to percent and making it to unlink for the first one i'm making it to 35 second one 39 then 56 59 all right so you can take your own shape or own style for now I'm just making something different and I'm making it to center align alignment making it to center and here we can decrease the spacing between this button and text going to this text advance and margin making it to 0 padding 0 and also going to add some minus margin in bottom Alright, I'm done and now finally going to add some style for inner section. Going to advance, going to add some padding. Here first I'm taking 20 pixel for all around and we can increase the padding for top and bottom. So making it to unlink and for top we can make it to 50 and also same for bottom and also increased the padding for left and right to 30. Now I want to add some blob shape with this inner section. For that I need to go to the custom CSS and here I'm going to add some CSS. By the way this custom CSS options is only available on Elementor Pro version. So if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description. You can check it from there. After installing Elementor Pro and activating, you will also get these custom CSS options. And then I'm going to my website. I will also leave this page link in my description. So from this page, I need to copy all the CSS. Here I have added all the CSS for inner section. I'm going to copy and simply paste it here. All right, and I'm done. So we can see this is a nice animated blob effect with our text box. Now if I hide the panel, you will see the look. So by default, it's looking like this. And when I hover over on this item, we can see it's changing the color. And here we need to also do some customization. We need to make it up our text. 
so if i go to our text for now it's not showing i am going to navigator and from here if i go to the heading text going to advance and here going to z index i'm making the z index to 10 you can see the text is showing in the similar way going for the text editor and from advanced z index making it to 10 and also for the button and now it looks perfect and now again going to the inner section going to custom css let's have a look inside our custom css here i did some very simple css i added some css with the inner section and the before attribute so here i have added the content blank then position absolute and here i have set the position from left to zero top to zero and it's the same width so it's the 100 percent width and height with this box and here you need not to worry about all these things only here the border you can change the border by default this is two pixel and the color so if you want to change the color and border size you can do it from here then here is the border radius so i have added some custom size for border radius and it's taking a blob shape and then i have added a custom animation and it's taking 10 seconds so if i look at the animation if i scroll down here is the animation for the first line so when it's zero percent it's rotating from zero and when it's 100 percent it's rotating to 360 degree and next here the same thing for selector and after properties all is same only the difference is the animation i have created a another animation and also added the animation or animate to here i have added almost similar property and also here i have added some hover effect so when i hover over the inner section you see here i have added some background color by default here i have added a blue color and also some transparency and also on hover i have removed the border so here is the border none i have added so if you want to change the color or if you want to add your own style on hover or in default style you can easily customize all the css code all right i'm done and finally saving this page and crossing it and in the same way i'm going to create some more blobs going to copy the inner section and paste it to others column and here you can add your own text on button style on color we can create this kind of box or this kind of animated effect for service section or any special section inside our website and by adding this kind of cool effect you can take your website to a next level all right that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video